everyone, I'm Marina Latai from yes to tech and welcome back to my channel. Wondering how to create an online course? In this tutorial, I'll be sharing how you can create an online course that sells with Teachable step by step. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to create and sell an online course so that you can monetize your knowledge and make money selling online courses. If you're excited about this video, make sure you like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And with that said, let's jump right in. We'll be using Teachable to create an online course. If you don't have a Teachable account yet, just click on the link in the description box below to create one for free. Once you've logged into your Teachable account, click on Courses from the left-hand side panel. If you've already created an online course, that course will appear in this section. To create a new online course, click on the turquoise button that says New Course on the top right-hand corner. This is where you'll add basic information about your online course, as well as the author name. Don't worry, since you can always change this information later. So go ahead and add a course title, course subtitle, and either select an existing author from the drop-down menu or add a new author by adding their full name in the space provided. Once you're done, click on Create Course. Teachable will automatically redirect you to the curriculum section of your online course. You can click on the pencil icon next to where it says First Section and First Lesson to rename those. To add a new lecture to this first section, all you have to do is click on Add New Lecture. Again, you can click on the pencil icon to rename this lecture. And then click on it to add lecture content to it. There are a number of content blocks that you can add to your online course lecture in Teachable, including a file, text, quiz, code example, custom code, and an upsell. To add content from any of these content blocks, all you have to do is click on it and follow the instructions provided. For instance, to add a new file to this lecture, click on Add File, and then either drop a video, audio, PDF, or other files in the space provided, or click on Choose Files to select one from your computer, web images, link, FTP, Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. Click on Choose Files again, select the file you wish to add to your online course lecture, and then click on Open. Once the file has opened, click on Upload to add it to your online course lecture. You can add more than one content block to the same lecture, meaning that you can add multiple files or a mixture of all these content types. For instance, to add text to this lecture as well, click on Add Text, write what you wish in the space provided, and then click on Add Text at the bottom. If you so wish, you can reorder these content blocks by clicking on the left-hand side of a content block and then dragging and dropping it into a new position. Each content block will also have additional things that you can do to it, located on its right-hand side. For the text block, you can either click to edit the text or delete the text box altogether. For the file block, you can either click to enable download, which means that your online course students will be able to not only view this file, but also save it to their computer, turn off embed, upload captions, or delete the file block altogether. At the bottom, you can also click to enable or disable comments. To view what your lecture will look like for your online course students, click on Preview up top. If you're happy with how it looks, click on Publish to make your online course lecture visible to your students. You can always click on Unpublish if you wish to hide it down the road. Let's click on this backwards pointing arrow to return to our online course curriculum. Just like we did with the content blocks inside of a lecture, 
you can click on the left-hand side of a lecture and then drag and drop it into a new position to reorder them. You can also click on the icons on the right-hand side of a lecture to duplicate the lecture, make the lecture downloadable, make the lecture available as a free preview, and publish or unpublish the lecture. To add a new section to your online course curriculum, click on the turquoise New Section button on the top right-hand side. Add a name to that section, and then click on Create Section. Follow the same steps as before to rename the section if you so wish, and to add new lectures to the second section. Once you're done adding all of the sections and lectures of your online course, click on Pricing to add a pricing plan to your online course so your students can compensate you. To do so, click on Add Pricing Plan, and then choose between the four available pricing plans. Free, where you allow access to your content free of charge. One-time purchase, where you set up a one-time payment. Payment plan, where you set a fixed number of monthly payments. Or subscription, where you set monthly or annual recurring payments, which is great for memberships. Select one of the pricing plan options and then fill out the information requested. For the one-time payment, we need to add the price, name, subtitle, detailed description, and select whether your online course students will have limited access duration or not. If so, make sure to select whether all students lose access on a specific date or each student gets a specified amount of time. Once you're done filling out your online course payment information, click on Add Purchase Plan. If you so wish, you can add multiple pricing plans to the same online course. To add another payment plan, click on the turquoise Add Pricing Plan button on the top right-hand side, select one of the pricing plan options, such as Payment Plan, and then fill out the information requested, just as before. In this case, it asks you to add the price, number of monthly payments, name, subtitle, and detailed description. Once you're done filling out your online course payment information, click on Add Payment Plan. For each pricing plan that you added to your online course, you can copy the checkout URL to either send your students directly or to embed on a third-party sales page. You can click to edit the pricing plan information and you can click to delete the pricing plan altogether. Now that we've created our online course curriculum and added the pricing plans of our online course, it's time to click on Pages to edit the three main pages of our online course. The Sales page, the checkout page, and the thank you page. Let's first edit the sales page, so click on Edit Page on its right-hand side. Similar to the lecture content blocks, you can customize your online course sales page by repositioning existing or adding new content blocks. To reposition a content block on your sales page, just click on it and drag and drop it into its new position. To edit the content in an existing content block, either click on the space provided to add new information, or click on the arrow to access the external editor, or even on the pencil icon to access the pop-up editor. Each content block will have a different type of editor. To delete a content block, just click on the trash can on its right-hand side. If you scroll all the way down, you can access your online course sales page settings, where you can toggle whether you wish to create a blank template, show navigation bar, have a colored navigation bar, and show the footer. To add a new content block to your online course sales page, place your cursor between the two blocks where you wish to add the new one 
and then click on Insert New Block. You can add a rich text block, add a liquid or HTML block, add background image block, add video embed block, or click on other blocks to add course hero header, coupon banner, course description, author bio, course curriculum, bundled courses, FAQ, course page closing letter, primary enroll button, secondary enroll button, embedded form, testimonial, featured courses, or homepage hero header. Always remember to click on Save to make your changes active. To view what your sales page will look like for your online course students, click on Preview up top. Let's head back to the Pages menu to edit the checkout page. Click on Edit Page on its right-hand side. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can preview a sample checkout page that you can create in Teachable for your online course. If you wish to have a plain checkout page without any of these testimonials, bullet points, and course guarantee features, don't do anything on this page. When we click on Pricing, Copy URL, and then open up the checkout page in a new tab, you'll view the generic checkout page in action. If you do wish to add these testimonials, bullet points, and course guarantee features to the right-hand side of your checkout page, just fill out any or all of these sections, and then click on Publish up top. Now, if we refresh the checkout page, you'll be able to see the elements you just added to your online course checkout page. Lastly, let's click on Pages to edit the Thank You page. Click on Edit Page on its right-hand side. Just like with the Sales page, you can reposition elements on your online course Thank You page by clicking on it and dragging and dropping it to a new position. To edit the content in an existing content block, click on the space provided to add new information. To delete a content block, just click on the trash can on its right-hand side. To add a new content block to your online course thank you page, place your cursor between the two blocks where you wish to add the new one and then click on insert new block. The block types are exactly the same as the ones you can add in the sales page. If you scroll all the way down, you can access your online course thank you page settings, where you can toggle whether you wish to create a blank template, show navigation bar, have a colored navigation bar, and show the footer. You can also add custom head code if you so wish. Instead of having your online course students proceed to the course after they've made a purchase, you can convert this Proceed to Course block into an Upsell Offer block by clicking on Convert to Upsell Offer and then on OK. This means that after they purchase this course we just created, they will have one chance to purchase this other course at a discount. Select the online course you'd like to offer as an upsell from the drop-down menu and then select the pricing plan of the online course you'd like to offer as an upsell. If you so wish, you can customize the Accept Offer button as well as the Decline Offer button. Always remember to click on Save to make your changes active. To view what your Thank You page will look like for your online course students, click on Preview up top. To make sure that your online course looks the way you wish in your Teachable School, click on Information. This is where you can preview your sales page as a visitor and preview your online course curriculum as an enrolled student, change information about your online course, including its name, bio, subtitle, and categories, improve the search engine friendliness of your sales page by customizing the friendly URL, page title, and meta description, brand your online course, by setting a custom thumbnail image and promo video, 
Require students to complete certain actions in order to advance through your online course and set default pages for this online course after a student buys this course. You can also delete this online course altogether or duplicate it if you so wish. To make this online course visible in your Teachable School, make sure you click on Publish Course either up top or at the bottom. If you're serious about creating an online course, make sure you check out our free cheat sheet with 9 brilliant tools that you should use below this video to learn more about how you can save time and boost your productivity in your online business. Make sure you comment below and let me know what your online course is about. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 9.45 a.m. Eastern, and stay tuned for our next video, which is about how to build a sales funnel. As you wait for my next video to go live, check out these two videos I have right here, and I'll see you in my next video.